Hey guys, what is going on? Onyx Rush here, and today I have for you guys a tutorial on how to install zombie uh, maps on World of War on the PC. First thing you want to do is go to zombiemodding.com. Now, it can be any map that offers these uh, uh, maps, but zombie modding is probably the easiest because it comes in a um, it comes in a installer, which I got with install. You don't have to make a mods folder. But you can make a mods folder if you like, if you um, download it from a different source that won't give you an installer. This is how you do it. You go to your, uh, you go to your start menu, you type in app data, percent app data percent. After you type in app percent app data percent, there will be a roaming folder right above, right in the um, search results. Or you can click enter on it and it will take you to that window. Now, um, if you have played Minecraft before, you probably have seen that screen. That is a screen you get to install mods, but you don't want to go there. You want to go one before to app data, as you can see on my screen. Then go to local, then go to Activision, and then finally the CODWAW, which stands for Call of Duty War. Uh, War, obviously. Now, by default, you will only have these two folders in there, but you want to create a new folder and name it mods. Now, if you install from signmodding.com, it will create this folder for you once you install your first map, which I'm going to show you right now. But it's better for you just to do it yourself, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Now, what you're gonna want to do is go to signmining.com and download uh, a map. As you can see right now, I'm um, looking at this map, which is about to come out. Um, it's just coming soon. Looks like a really, really sick map. I mean, it's the poster itself. Looks like a lot of work went into it, which I can't wait for it. I mean, it looks great. Some of these maps are really great. But now, what you want to do is go to downloads. And after downloads, you want to go to Not Zombies. There is a Black Ops Zombies tab, and there is a Left 4 Dead 2 and Killing Floor tab. The Black Ops Zombies tab, however, only has left. No, my bad. My, the Black Ops Zombies tab only has one mod in it, and it's just the um, Dead Ops Arcade first person mod. So you're gonna go back to downloads, and you are gonna go to Not Zombies for Call of Duty World of War, and they have maps, mods, um, all that stuff, tools, whatever. And then you have prototype style maps, which is like knock, you know, no perk machines, no power, no dogs. Then you got Varukt, which has uh, power, the electrical traps, and everything. You Numa with the Wonder Waffle, the perks, uh, the dogs, the Rees, teleporters, um, Easter eggs, upgradable weapons. And you got modded maps, which is like the CCT mod, which is called four guns. Then you got uh, beta maps, and then you got broken uh, maps, which are, I don't know why you would install those. But, if you want to be a rebel, you always can. Hmm. Now you uh, want to go to... Now if you go to downloads where you will see uh, the Black Nazi Zombies, the Black Nazi Zombies, you will see all of these, which are the most popular downloads, uh, most viewed downloads, top rate downloads, and the most recent downloads. Uh, so, as you can see, some realism is a really popular one. Same with Airport, really great map. Since it's an okay map, Project X, I've never really played it. But for this one, I'm gonna download Not Zombie the Escape. So, as you can see, this is the first map. It looks good, and I've actually have played it. So, it's it's okay. If it's first map, it's actually pretty good, better than my first map would. So, now we, it's, we, uh, we just gotta wait for the couple seconds to install the map. Or I should say to download the map because he is a money whore. Just kidding. I probably meant to make. I wonder how much money you want. Close that tab, and here we are. Game front, which was not, which was some most of some modding maps used to upload. Some of them use some weird foreign websites, which I think is pretty stupid because those servers are slow as hell. But game front servers are really fast. I mean, good job, game front. So now I am installing. I mean, my bad, downloading it, and I will cut to where I'm finished downloading it. Alright, so as you can see now, my antivirus has scanned it, and now it is ready to install. Now, Sony modding comes in that kind of format. I do have Google Chrome, so the download tab shows up. I believe Firefox, you get a small little window that pops up, and Internet Explorer, I don't know. I, it's Safari, I forgot where to go on Safari, but I don't know. My theme changed there, because I guess uh, recording took a lot of... Um, like RAM or something, I don't know. Oh, I've never happened before. I on this computer actually has happened before, but never will record recording. This happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, so you will go to that. You will click install, and this one stop pretty fast. And then you will go to uh, you can make a start menu shortcut or a desktop shortcut, but I don't do any of those. And and so now all I'm gonna do is show you guys how to run the map in World of War. 
Alright, so now you see that we are in World of War. Um, so now what you want to do is, um, you see that mods tab that is right there. Yes, you will want to use that. But first, let's make sure that uh, console is enabled. Which sometimes it gets disabled for some reason. See right there, enable console. Make sure it says yes. Uh, and then you want to go to mods. And now those are all my, um, my maps that I have. And so I will now run the one that I just downloaded, but I am a retard, so it takes me a while to find it. So please be patient with me, woman. I should find it right about now. There it is. You can either double click it or click the launch. And let's launch that sucker. Alright, so now it's launched. And as you can see, right there has the, the escape. You can click on that. It will either say play this map solo. Sometimes it'll be up and down. It'll uh, have a different background, have personal music. It'll be really sick. In this case, it's got the option to host online. You go to host lobby, not zombies, and the escape. Your friends do have to be uh, running the map. The map. God, I'm horrible. Okay, your friends will have to be running the map. And so now, to play solo, you will click the escape. But not every single map has that. So to launch it through console, you go to console, which is a tilde key, which is the key underneath the um, the escape key and above the tab key, and you will click the slash map. So slash map as you saw me do there, and then space, and then the, the name that is under mods. Whatever name is there, that's the one you put in, exactly how it is. And then you click enter, and it will launch your map piece like this. Which you can see, the map looks really nice. It's not bad at all. And I hope that you guys, you guys did have a Merry Christmas. I don't know what I'm saying now, but yeah, that is basically how to install and run these maps. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section. I use me and my mic like a retard, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section. Um, I will call you a retard, but that's okay. Don't take it offensively. I I still have a lot of questions about this thing, and if your World of War messes up, don't worry. It's, it's just uninstall the maps. And then reinstall them. Um, what I would do is just well, I just reinstall the maps, but eventually, yeah, that's kind of annoying. So what I do is I take out the mods folder and I put the map in one by one and see which one is the broken one, and that's to get out. But anyways, that is it, guys, and peace.